Go on, make a video. Go on. I want, I want, no, I don't want to. I want going to. But I am. Inspired recipe from Chris Lodge. Again. What did you inspire me on the other day? I don't know. Another recipe I did. Ah, the chopped veggies and rice and maybe hummus or something. That was inspired from you. So sweet potatoes, which are going to be the fries. And if you've never had sweet potatoes before, they are sweet and they're very nice. They kind of taste good with, you know, with herbs and things. They're, they are a good workable potato compared to like your normal white potatoes, I think, anyway. Um, never really had them that often before, you know. And now being on this lifestyle, you find out stuff. You learn new skills in the kitchen. Good. Um, so yeah, sweet potato fries and the burger recipe is going to be red onion, some oats, some sun-dried tomatoes. Um, they're like um, not tinned, they're in a jar. There's a little bit of oil with them, but I'm going to drain them out. Um, I've got some olives, which are in brine. We have some mushrooms as well and I'm going to put some chilli powder in, in with that as well so this should be pretty epic so uh, I'll just get chopping and do some random vids and uh, chuck them all together and check out the recipe because it's a good recipe so uh, see you in a minute Chippers! Well not quite yet, chopped up ready for the oven how's that? Real with this, there's my bowl there's the mushrooms, there's some olives which were from there Supermarket branded brine olives. Again, I can show you the make of these. I use these quite a lot. There's the chickpeas. No worries. I got my own, but like, they're right here. I don't always remember to soak them in time, but you know, I'm on it. So, for convenience, don't worry about the, the tin stuff. It's fine, man. It's not organic, but sometimes you can get organic. Um, kidney beans and stuff. I mean, you know, I get that most of the time. Right, tinned uh, sun-dried tomatoes, or jarred rather. A little bit of oil in there I've just drained off. Um, again, I could have got those from the organic shop, but it's far away from me. It's not always convenient, so I've just done my best. A little bit of oil ain't gonna hurt ya. Um, soaked oats. There's my chopped red onion. Let's get messy with this. I'm just gonna crush those up, everything with my hands. Mishmash it all up, form some pâtés. See you in a bit. YouTubers, that's where we at. Just added some more oats because it was a little bit wet. Um, so just going to let it sit for a while and the oats will obviously uh, soak up what moisture is in there and then we'll be good to go to make some pâtés. But all done with my hands out, look. I know it looks a big gloopy mess but it's all in there. The onions, the chickpeas, uh, the red kidney beans, the olives, uh, the oats, the sun-dried tomatoes. Uh, there you go. So, uh, it smells pretty good as it is. You probably could, you know, get away with it as it is. Maybe Vitamix that, blend it up. Burger smoothie. Right, so that's where we are. We'll just let it sit for a while and then we'll make some patties. Catch you in a bit. Oh man, I've got some fires made, making the patties anyway. It got really gooey. I left it for a little while and I just added more oats. Big old bag of oats. Right, um, so it gets really messy. So rather than, I've only got some small little baking tray, so I'm just going to make like, it's going to be like, I'll have some tomorrow I guess as well. And again, I might eat the whole lot, chow it down. Um, so yeah, there's going to be a bunch of uh, burgers on the go. But everyone's different, look. They've all got like, different combinations of like, chickpeas, uh, kidney beans, onions, olives, sun-dried tomatoes and um, oats and that in them. So they're just going to taste fantastic. You can just smell them anyway. It's the sun-dried tomato I think which does it. And the olives just gives it that kind of, um, I don't know, Mediterranean feel I guess. But it's got herbs in it as well. Just like mixed herbs. Um, I think the, uh, yeah, the sun-dried tomatoes add herbs in them anyway, so I didn't actually add any other herbs. But after, you know, salt, pepper, whatever, if you want to put that on, these are salt-free, obviously. So uh, there you go. Oh, man. It smells so good. Burger and fries. And now they're grilling, you can smell. Just smell the smell of them. They're amazing, man. Like the last burgers I made, they were just more of a potato um, consistency, consistency, but these were just with the oats and like the olives and all the other ingredients. They're just like mega burgers. Really loving it. Should be really good. Whoa, sun dried tomato smell then right up the nostril. <sighs> Flipped them over, looking at what 180 there. Look, 
about 180. Just keep an eye on them, they don't take long. Four, four or five minutes tops. Don't let them burn. I'd say we're all done. How's that? Sweet potato fries. Special burger recipe. I'll list all the ingredients down below. So don't you worry. You can get making these yourself easy. Some second lot of fries there for in a minute. Another burger over there. And three more there, which I'll save for tomorrow. Yeah, I know. I'm looking cool because this is really cool. And I'm really pleased with that. I think you'd be too if you tasted it. Thanks for watching, guys. Hello, new subscribers. Welcome to my channel. Uh, you never know what you're going to get on here. And I don't even know where it's going, really. But it's fun, it's interesting, it's addictive. YouTube is addictive. YouTube is Facebook for the hardcore. They aren't afraid to go out there and speak their mind and show people actually what they're doing rather than hiding behind a computer screen. See you later. Check it out, man. I'll put a bit of ketchup on there in a minute. A bit of Heinz, probably. See ya.